Well, I'm very passionate when it comes to smoking cessation. Um, not sure how many people know this, but smokers actually die 10 years younger than non-smokers. And smoking accounts for one out of every 10 deaths in the United States. So it impacts so many parts of our health. It can cause cardiovascular disease. It can cause strokes, obviously lung disease and cancers. However, it also causes peripheral arterial disease, which is a narrowing of the arteries that carry blood away from the heart. It's also known as PAD. The problem with PAD is it can cause pain in your legs when you walk. It can also cause a limited amount of blood flow. So if you develop a wound, it has poor wound healing and can lead to amputations. But approximately 80% of people who have PAD are either current smokers or former smokers. And that is the mainstay of treatment for PAD is to get them to quit smoking. Smoking, in particular the nicotine, causes arterial wall changes. It causes your arteries to become stiffer, it contributes to high blood pressure, and then it accelerates arterial disease or atherosclerosis. So over time, as your arterial walls harden and thicken and blood flow becomes restricted, that's when the problems occur. It leads to blockages, heart attacks, strokes, and as I mentioned earlier, the peripheral arterial disease as well. As medical providers, it's our job to discuss the health, the negative health impacts of smoking, the risks involved with continuing to smoke, but it's also our duty to discuss the benefits of quitting smoking. And I feel that's where CIS does a really good job in providing these opportunities for our patients, for the one-on-one -on -one, um, discussion with their provider that is totally tailored to their needs, their smoking needs. I tell this to my patients all the time, your quit journey is not gonna look like the next person. Your smoking habits are not exactly the same as everyone else's. So that's the beauty of this program, is you can get to know your patients and truly hone in on what their triggers are and what their habits are. Because although their body may be dependent on the nicotine, they're dependent on the behaviors and the habits that they formed mostly over a lifetime. Smoking leads to all kinds of negative health outcomes. CIS and your providers are committed to help you be successful in quitting smoking.